minutes after launching its uncrewed super heavy Starship rocket, SpaceX returned its booster stage back to the launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas. And breaking news, SpaceX has successfully caught a super heavy rocket booster on return to Earth. Not quite long ago, SpaceX successfully launched its towering 400-foot Starship mega rocket from the Starbase facility in South Texas, propelling the massive stainless steel vehicle into the skies in a spectacle that was both breathtaking and nail-biting. It marked a crucial milestone in the development of a spacecraft designed to take humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. But what made this launch so remarkable? What challenges did the SpaceX team overcome and how does this achievement pave the way for the future of interplanetary travel? Join us as we explore the successes, setbacks, and implications of Starship's latest journey, the launch. The sixth flight test of SpaceX's Starship, known as Flight Test 6, marked another milestone in the development of reusable spaceflight. It took place on November 19, 2024, at 4 p.m. CST from Space SA's Starbase in Texas. The prototype vehicles involved were Booster 13, which is the first stage, and Ship 31, the upper stage. This mission wasn't just about a test flight. It was about gathering critical data for future Starship recovery and reuse. But how does a rocket designed to redefine space travel prepare for and achieve such an incredible feat? 45 minutes before liftoff, the countdown clock began setting the team into action. At Starbase, final checks on vehicle systems were underway. Both stages of the Starship were fueled with liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which is an advanced combination that powers its Raptor engines. Now this is where it gets really fascinating. As the countdown reached the T-minus 10 minute mark, the launch director gave the final go for liftoff, transitioning control to the automated sequence. At this point, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster were primed and ready. Just one minute before launch, ground cameras captured the dramatic venting of vapor as the pressurization of the tanks peaked, which was a sign that the Starship was moments away from liftoff. At T0 seconds, the ignition sequence commenced and all 33 Raptor engines roared to life. The launch tower arms released the Starship and the vehicle rose from the pad in a breathtaking display of power and light. Gleaming in the afternoon sun, it climbed steadily, leaving behind a massive plume of exhaust visible for miles. Every second counted as the engines performed flawlessly, delivering the thrust needed to propel the vehicle upward. Telemetry data showed a rapid increase in altitude and velocity. Two minutes into the flight, the main engine shut off as planned, a phase known as MECO, that is main engine cutoff. The super heavy booster then separated smoothly from the upper stage, completing its burn without any anomalies. This test flight wasn't just about reaching new heights, it demonstrated new capabilities. For example, this was the first Starship flight to perform an in-space burn of a single Raptor engine, simulating the critical deorbiting maneuver that future missions will need. This burn was one of several steps SpaceX is taking to refine the ship's design for eventual recovery and reuse. So, what makes this launch so special? It's the incremental improvements. Each flight builds on the last, with changes like testing new heat shield materials and pushing the vehicle's limits. The success of Flight Test 6 has set the stage for the next generation of Starships. Another thing that stood out the most was the re-entry and the Super Heavy Booster. Let's take a look. The re-entry. The sixth test flight of SpaceX Starship system showcased critical advancements, even if it lacked the dramatic flair of earlier missions. The mission began with the Super Heavy Booster firing its 33 Raptor engines, propelling the Starship system skyward. At around T plus three minutes, the booster separated from Ship 31, beginning its own delicate journey back to Earth. Meanwhile, Ship 31 ignited its vacuum-optimized Raptor engines, pushing it toward the edge of space. As the booster detached, it flipped its orientation to prepare for re-entry. It executed a controlled burn to reduce speed and deployed its grid fins to stabilize and guide its descent. Unlike previous attempts involving a catch by the Mechazilla arms, this time, SpaceX aimed for a soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Why such a conservative approach, likely due to damage sustained by the Lightning or Communications Tower during launch, which could compromise the tower's precision? Without reliable systems, attempting a catch could risk both the booster and the infrastructure. Unlike last month's successful booster catch with giant mechanical arms, this time the booster was deliberately directed to splash down in the Gulf of Mexico. 
Just four minutes into the test flight from Texas, the planned booster catch was called off due to safety concerns. Moments later, the booster hit the water. Elon Musk explained on Wednesday through X that the catch was aborted because of a communication issue with the launch tower's computer system. Meanwhile, the spacecraft itself, launched atop the massive Starship rocket, followed a spectacular trajectory across the Gulf of Mexico, skimming the edge of space. On its journey, it performed a near-complete loop around the Earth, much like October's test flight. After an hour, it descended in a controlled manner into the Indian Ocean, concluding with a planned destructive splashdown. This test was not without its successes. For one, it saw the first ever ignition of one of the spacecraft's engines in space, which is a very important milestone for future orbital missions. Engineers also conducted thermal protection experiments by intentionally leaving areas of the craft without heat tiles. Why? Well, to get data that would help improve catch mechanisms for subsequent flights. The heat-resistant tiles withstood the fire from the descent, while the aerodynamic flaps adjusted dynamically to keep it stable. During re-entry, the spacecraft descended nose-first, a new maneuver, and impressively flipped upright before splashing down. As the booster descended, it executed a second controlled burn, reducing its speed even further. Observers watched how the grid fins made continuous adjustments to keep a steady flight path. At last, it came down at T plus nine minutes, splashing down gently and showing stability with control throughout its descent. But here's a surprising detail. Donald Trump, the president-elect, attended the launch, underscoring his growing relationship with Elon Musk and SpaceX. This partnership highlights the national importance of Starship, which NASA is relying on for future lunar missions. NASA has already committed over $4 billion to SpaceX to use Starship for landing astronauts on the moon in back-to-back -back missions later this decade. Why is reusability such a big deal for SpaceX? The answer lies in cost and efficiency, SpaceX's ultimate goal is to fully recycle the 400-foot Starship, including both the booster and spacecraft. This strategy, already proven with their Falcon rockets, has saved significant time and money. Applying this approach to Starship could make it much cheaper and faster to send cargo, and eventually people, to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. This latest launch marked the sixth fully assembled Starship flight since 2023. The first three ended in fiery explosions but each attempt pushes SpaceX closer to its dream of interplanetary travel. Musk's long-term vision includes sending a fleet of starships to Mars, where humanity might one day build a city. While the booster returned to Earth, Ship 31 soared toward its apex at T plus five minutes, reaching the edge of space. For the first time in a test flight, one of its vacuum-optimized Raptor engines reignited in space, simulating orbital maneuvers. This milestone validated the engine's capability to perform critical tasks like orbital adjustments or lunar landings. Onboard cameras provided breathtaking views of Earth, capturing the grandeur of space exploration. At T plus 10 minutes, Ship 31 executed its final landing maneuver. Using its control surfaces, it reduced speed and achieved a precise splashdown in the Indian Ocean, showcasing SpaceX's ability to target specific landing zones accurately. While the mission lacked the spectacle of Flight 5, where the booster was caught mid-air by the Mechazilla arms, it provided invaluable data. The soft splashdown of the booster allowed SpaceX to study descent dynamics without relying on tower systems. Similarly, the uncovered heat shield areas on Ship 31 offered insights into its resilience, informing future designs. This flight was a methodical step in SpaceX's journey toward reusable and reliable spacecraft. As the booster's descent demonstrated stability, and Ship 31 performed flawlessly in space, the mission focused on refining systems rather than wowing the audience. Many might wonder, wasn't this a step back after the jaw-dropping achievements of Flight 5? Not at all. Testing alternative scenarios and gathering data is just as crucial for progress, laying the groundwork for the extraordinary feats SpaceX will undoubtedly achieve in the future. But here's what this all means for us. Becoming multiplanetary species, the sixth test flight of the Starship by SpaceX represents another step in the pursuit of making space travel sustainable, dependable, and accessible. It included showing the capability to fire an on-orbit spacecraft engine for the first time and gathered important data on thermal protection and re-entry methods. 
These breakthroughs push SpaceX closer to creating a fully reusable spacecraft, which is one of the most crucial innovations needed to drive down the cost of transporting cargo and people beyond Earth. Each test flight irons out elements of the technology that need changing to make it safe for future missions. The success of this mission, despite the challenges, shows just how resilient and adaptable the approach at SpaceX really is to pushing the edges of space exploration. This flight is another step closer to the dream of humans becoming a multi-planetary species. A human settlement on Mars would not merely be a form of exploration, but a means to ensure the survival of the human race from any potential global challenge that might affect Earth, such as climate change or even natural calamities. By developing Starship's capabilities, SpaceX is making its way to creating a self-sustaining colony on Mars. This mission brings us closer to that vision, one bridge between science fiction and reality. With every flight, the idea of life on Mars and all the other planets changes from an abstract goal into an achievable future. As this mission pushes the frontiers of space technology, it is certain to inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, and innovators to pursue careers in STEM fields. And we can't wait to see what the future holds. Do you think the achievements of the Starship are going too far in a desperate attempt to relocate to Mars as soon as possible? Kindly share your answers, thoughts, and opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel to enjoy more videos like this. Also, click the next video shown on your screen. You will enjoy it.